Okay, I thought I would do a video on jumping. I meant to do this actually yesterday, I think it was. So I'm gonna have just a cube here, and I'm gonna take this camera and just tell it to align this screen. And we're not gonna do anything too crazy, but I am gonna add a rigid body, and I'm gonna tell it to not rotate on those. Put them to continuous. So now we just have this nice little box, you know, that has gravity. Pretty simple. So there are a couple different ways to do this, obviously, and you could do it with physics. You could do it with a character controller. Uh, I think I think we'll do with physics because it's just it seems so common. So all I'm going to do for now is get. Oh, let's get key. Let's get key down. Right, so just on the on the basic end of this jump, we're gonna say jump. And if we jump, we could just simply add force, right? That's the easiest thing to do. Uh, we would go on the Y space, well, probably space self actually. All right, and we could add, I don't know, say 50 and do impulse and just go back. So super simple, button add force, right? Very simple, nothing, I mean, completely insane jump, obviously way, way, way too high. So actually I'm gonna give this cube a little weight and bring this guy down to 30. Let's see how that works. All right, let's look at our cube. Let's hit jump, and we just have this jump. Now, with this way, I can keep hitting it, right? I can just do 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 do, keep them in the air. It's almost you're almost, you're almost doing flappy birds all of a sudden, right? Like, I don't want to drop them. No, no, catch them. All right, it's super super basic. So there are <clears throat> lots of different things there. So one of the questions before was. Well, what if you wanted to control jump height based on how long you press the button? Okay, well that's, all of a sudden, it, it adds a level of difficulty, right? Because if I hit jump, we're just we're going to that same spot. Okay. And, you know, for references, I'm gonna put a cylinder Scale it up a bit. And I'm going to bring them over here. Scale of two. Put them right down on two. Just for reference purposes. So that when we're jumping, we can see a little more clear on how high we're actually jumping. Right? So just, we're just kind of going a little over that, right? Just based on the, on the press. So how would you add jump based on adding force on, on the button down? So let's call this one jump. And let's call this one another FSM called, I don't know, jump addition maybe? So this one, actually I'm going to copy this guy exactly and change its name again. Uh, th this guy, that's weird, it doesn't keep the transitions. <clears throat> but this one obviously is going to be a little different. We're not going to just add force to it again. Right? We don't want to do that. We would want to, I am going to get an ecosystem and we're going to get the next frame advanced. This is a nice and beautiful action. If no one's, I don't know if you've used it or not, but it's uh, just like next frame, but better. So I can turn around and say we want to go, I don't know, say three, 
we'll say four frames, and then we're just going to return here. And but while we're here, let's give our jump. Now we we hit a button. Actually, yeah. Okay. Well, first, let's, well, yeah. Okay. Let's 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 figure this out. So we're sitting here and we hit a button. The first thing we should do is figure out. Well, if you can jump, right? I mean, if you're grounded. If you're grounded, then you know jump. If you don't, well, we'll do that maybe after. So we we hit the jump button and we want to launch. And here we go. We're flying off this way. But based on this button press, we might want to add more force, right? So if we um, add force again, and we'll do every frame, I can almost do one of these other ones, but I'll, I'll do impulse because we're doing impulse here, so we'll keep things an impulse might not be the best portion for this. So we need edit. We're gonna add addition. We're gonna add that force. But we need to know when that happens and then come back. Right? <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is Add another event. Stop adding. And for now, I'm just going to finish this and go over here. But we'll add something to that. Okay. Now, under jump addition, all we want to do is set FSM float. the owner to the jump the addition and we're going to use a I don't know, we'll say a jump variable and we're going to put that on every frame now we are going to float add and you can there's a few different ways we can do this too so jump add and maybe we'll uh, we'll start real low point to every frame and then when it's coming back though when this thing's done this thing needs to now tell the other one to hey knock it off stop adding that stuff Right now, the other thing we need to add into this is get key, and you can use get key up or get key. Right, this might be a better option. Oops. Uh, we want to do that here. So if we add force, and we're going here. Let's do it here. So we're going to do it here, and we're going to do get key. Well, for, for now, I'll use get key up because it's a simple way. Uh, I think normally I would use a whoop, use a bool. So space when we go up, let's just finish. So now did I link that event? I forgot if I linked that or not. I mean, it, it's quick. I mean, four four frames is, is a very, very fast situation, right? So let's just up that a bit. Let's add, well, for now, let's add one. Let's see if one's better. So if I press it, oh, you know what we have to do? 
because if I just press it once, we're going up like that. And we need to set this back to zero every time. Because if you don't, it's just going to keep getting higher and higher. Right, so if I just tap it, we do that. So here, on this send event, we might as well just add it here. This guy, set float value of the addition to zero. So we kind of reset, reset it there, right? So if we hit jump, we're going that high. We hit jump again, we're going that high. But if I, I should almost extend that frames out so it's a little more clear to, to see, right? So if I just tap jump, almost need a measuring stick, eh? All right, let's create a cube. And let's bring him this way. Oh, did I do a capsule? Oh no, I did a cube. Let's go 0 0.1 and 5 and 5. All right, so if I now hit jump, we're going up there. But if I press and hold jump, all right, this is not working very well for me. Okay, cube, what is your height? All right, 0 0.5, you can go to about a 6.8 is roughly here. No, you can go a little higher than that still. I should almost just get a full belly and do the position. Alright, so let's I'm gonna adjust these frames out because four might be too short. So let's add 0.5 and let's go eight frames. I mean, eight frames is still, when you're running 60 frames per second, I mean, you gotta think how fast that's going, right? So we have, all right, we're, okay, so we tap it, and we're shooting to the moon. And where are we here? See, this is on get key up. So now this is why I don't think I would wanna use get key up. I think this is killing us here. All right, if I go 30, I mean, that's a half a second. And obviously that did a whole lot. All right, so let's go here and take this down to 0 0.05. This might be a little more clear then. So we hit jump. Set this value. That's what's killing us too. So adding on to that, we have to reset that one. Okay, so we need to value this guy off. Set float value in here. Again, we're, we're re just resetting that thing. So we want to be able to. We want the same amount of jump every time. Right, let's bring this guy down to 20. And that self space. Okay, so we do a little jump, right? We just gonna do little jumps. Press and hold. Oh, that might not be long enough. Or not enough force. So we'll up that. So we're adding that force. See, I don't know. I don't know if I would do. So we're doing that. Let's. The point one kind of works. Point 
five seconds is a little long. Doing impulse, let's do force instead. And then bring this guy up to about 10. You have to use a lot more when you're using the force. So let's take him down to five. So we're gonna, I don't know, I've kept, I don't like this little pause in there. So we almost need, I mean, I do like, okay, this is obviously way too long, but let's go 15, quarter of a second. This guy can go five. That kind of works. Uh, and let's start with this guy at. No. Okay, that's good. Go over here. And we do a force mode. And we're going to add force. <coughs> And I think what we should do is take this guy to 20. And reset his value at 20, not 0. God damn it. There we go. So now we have a little hop. Press and hold. And that's not enough force. Let's take this up to 20 and take him up to back up to 10. So we have little hopping, big hopping, but I don't like okay, so that worked pretty decent at. Let's take it down to 10 and go, I don't know, let's say 12. And he needs to start at 20. All right. So he's doing force. This whole axle going twenty. You know what? Let's take this down to ten. Because we're jumping and it's almost got that almost a slight pause and it kind of ramps up real hard. Uh, maybe we should just keep this at zero. It's one of those things I guess you just kind of tweak and play with. So we have little hop. And bigger hop needs a little more force. Let's take that to 20. There we go. So we have little hop, little hop. Just tapping that, that space bar. Press and hold a bit, and it's a much bigger jump. Uh, probably go up a little higher on that or go up a little more on that base portion right so we have tap tap big jump tap tap big jump so that's starting to look pretty good and we could take that up say 25 Yeah, so there we have little jumps going into a bigger jump. Right, so that's kind of how I think I would set that up. You could also interpolate a few, a few of these things to smooth things out a little bit, I think. But uh, 
I think that looks pretty good. So that's kind of how I do a jump height based on length of time being pressed. Okay, got those two FSM. So let's just go over them real quick. We're jumping and we're adding our force. And again, this is just a, a arbitrary number I'm putting in here. You could put in, I mean, you could add a little Z to there or you can make this a variable so you can add sideways and stuff as well. But then we're going to add a constant force every frame. And that's all coming from the same get key down. And you don't even have to use a get key down. I mean, you, you can actually use a bool here and get the bool of this key down or have this one, this guy, send an event to this guy to tell him to start. Right? I mean, I just, I just use key down because it was easy. Um, and I'm using key up because it's a simple thing. Uh, but you might want to use bools instead. And then, yeah, it just kind of re resets. So, I mean, the other thing you'd want to add probably would be, um, yeah, see, actually, it would almost be better to use a bool here because then you could, on this one, you hit your jump. Here you check a ground check. And if you're not grounded, just go back. But if you're true, go here and flip that one bool that this guy's looking for. So then he knows to fire off. Right, and then a ground check. I mean, you can do that with ray casts or triggers. But I think that's I think that's kind of how I would do my jumping physics based with jump height based on key pressed length. It's a mouthful to say. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys later.